Work is like our second home, a place where we want to feel safe. But Fargo police say they deal with workplace violence like threats, disagreements, and angry customers every day. Valley News Team's Macy Inger looked at how to prevent the situation from happening to you. Maybe mom got her we have alarms and we've got cameras everywhere. Fargo's Boys and Girls Club is in lockdown, but violence could enter the workplace at any time. Somebody might have a domestic issue at home and their spouse or estranged significant other might come in and, and cause some troubles at the workplace and, and that's something I, I didn't think of before this. The CEO says they're close to several businesses where robberies have happened and while they rarely deal with violence, they'd rather be prepared. Violence knows no bounds, um, so, you know, it's affecting not only our community, but, you know, nationwide. Police say it's not just robberies, fights, and shootings. This deals with any non-physical harassment, threats, or people lashing out in anger. I think it's great information for any workplace to think about and to plan for. All these employers attended the Chamber's seminar on workplace safety. Fargo police say employees should look for warning signs from others, like pounding fists against the table, threats, and getting into others' personal space. Officers say if you see these signs, to tell someone else. When he says it, you know, it's kind of obvious, I guess, but when you are actually interacting with people, it's just good to be aware of those kinds of feelings. No matter what race or status you are, it's great. Everyone needs to have the tools and techniques to just be prepared. Officers hear people in the office say they've seen unusual behavior but didn't bother to tell anyone until it's too late. And that's what they're trying to prevent. In Fargo, Macy Inger, Valley News Live. Now, the Fargo Police Department does host the workplace violence training by request. If you'd like more information or resources, call the Fargo PD. They'll steer you in the right direction. We have that number on our website. Go to valleynewslive.com and click on this story.